Hey. Is that a safe? <laughs> Fine jewelers. Let's see what's in there. Seriously, if he takes any step closer to smack the crap out of him with that shield and it's on. We are once again back at our $1,000 dusty 11-year-old storage unit. We've been pulling pretty cool stuff out of so far, and we haven't even put a dent in the amount of boxes in this thing. If you haven't seen the first part, check it out right over here. Let's get back into it today and see what else we can pull out. Let's get the first box right here out of the way. First off, what, what is this? Look at the dust on it. That is a, yeah, I don't know, that's a dust machine. All right, that's a dust machine. It has um, ethernet ports in the back, so I'm guessing it's some type of old router, or modem or something like that. Let's see what we have in here. Peter Pan? No, not Peter Pan. No. Pinocchio. I can't believe I got them confused. I used to love the Peter Pan game on Super Nintendo too. I should have known that. Oh, I'm not going to get this one wrong. Helga from Hey Arnold. I used to have that toy. Because this is from our generation. This is for <laughs> 90s kids. All you other 90s kids out there that are watching this, we're the best. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. No, I'm lying. Most of our generation sucks. Uh, other than that, oh, whoa, no way. Look what I see. Hey, baby. An original. An OG PlayStation 1. Let's unravel. Yay. Let's see if there's a game in it because people love to leave them in there. There's cool. not. But hey, a PlayStation 1, let's set that over here. Who just got PS1 games from my house the other day? Literally, what's the chance <laughs> of that? All right, let's pull Yay. some of this, that dusty parrot out and Helga out. And let's see if there's anything else under here. I'm about to drop some of these books on the ground. Look at this. What is this? My ways are higher than your ways. Thoughts and thoughts. All right. Well, nothing in there. What else do we got going on here? Uh, old books, an encyclopedia of cooking. Um, let's see, are there any more books in here? Is this just a binder of papers? Yeah. What's this though? Is that an alarm clock slash radio? That's what I'm forgetting right there, looking at it. What else is in here though? There's gotta be more than that. What is this, like a what, drying rack type thing? Washboard. Washboard, see? It's not my generation here. Uh, you're like seven months older than me, so you know this stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a few. <laughs> uh, yeah, all the rest of it. No, there's stuff down at the bottom. Okay, it's just wood and it's books. I have some great deals for you. Which one would you rather buy? Would you like to buy busted dining room chair with no back and missing all the back pieces? Or 25 year old tot with enough dust to probably like literally choke a kid that age? Choose. Put your answer in the comments now. Can you tell me why this bag's colors just give me the same vibes as like the 90s cartoons? Why, what color, like what show had this color scheme? I don't know if it's a show, but a lot of the stuff, even like cups and stuff, has that purple and green. Maybe that's what it is. Ooh boy, a bag full of papers. Just what I wanted, exactly what I wanted. Anything else in here? Ooh, that thing's stuck. This bottle is legit stuck to the bag. Anything in this? What do you think's in there? Well, well thanks for your gas. Well, right when you said it, it was already <laughs> open. I didn't want to ruin it. Uh. Let's see on this side, anything else hidden in the bag? I see papers and pictures. What about on this side? Nothing. You know what? That bag's color disappointed me. So this box is interesting. Look what it says on there. If I set it down, does that say Marlon's friend, New York? There's just like a whole guy in there. Just like you open it up, it's just Bob from New York. Like why did you store me all these years? <laughs> what does that mean? Marlon's friend, New York. I don't know. Is that a gift? Oh, looks, looks like, like a present, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, let's cut this open and find out. Oh boy! You ready for a gift? Yeah. Alright, you, oh, you got gifted paperwork and a bunch of pictures and things like that, unfortunately. What about this one? Well, your whole gift box is unfortunately all personal pictures, like all the way through. Uh, anything different in here? Hey, look, there's a turkey or something, a burger. <laughs> uh, anything in the bag? No, this is the worst Christmas ever. So this big view Sonic box says clothes on one side, on the other side it says toys, and you guys know I'm immature. We like collecting toys, so 
Let's see if we can get any toys out of here if it's just closed. By the way, look on the back of the truck already. We've already moved. That's all clothes we've moved so far. So much. And I'm seeing tons more already. Don't tell me this is all closed. There's gotta be some toys buried in here somewhere, right? Somewhere? Somewhere, please? Oh, there's a little box of them. I see it. It's like little kid toys. There's a xylophone. There's Ernie, right? No, Bert. Which one's he? I have no idea. Come on. There's a little xylophone. There's a little piano. There's an old Goofy. Look at that. What is this? It's a phone. Is it a phone? Whatever. Yeah, look. Whatever it is is ripped right there. That sucks. That's kind of. That's probably kind of cool. Anything Disney usually has good collectible value. So I've never even seen a Goofy phone. I wonder if the phone itself, whatever's supposed to be attached, is in the box somewhere. I'm not seeing it. Is that what this is? No, it's a VTech. So yeah, nothing else in there. It sucks. I wonder where the phone's at. Maybe it'll be in another box. This box has glass in it, so let's just see if there's anything collectible. Oh, I guess I missed a piece. I thought I cut it off. Let's see if there's anything collectible in here, or if it's just like kitchenware. Oh, so look, antique oval footed ball. Now I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that if it's got antique written on the box, it's probably not antique. <laughs> but let's see if it's silver or anything like that, because it looks like it could be silver, doesn't it? Actually, the company right here says Studio Silversmiths. So there's a very good shot that this could be silver. Let's just hope it's not silver plated. Silver plated, still worth money, just obviously not as much as if it's solid silver. Let's pull it out and see what it is or what it says. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. This is Studio Silversmiths. That's all it says. It doesn't tell me if it's silver plated or if it's solid sterling silver. So I guess that's something we'll figure out later. That's not glass, by the way. This is like a juicer or something, part of a juicer. That's what it looks like to me. We got a little basket here. What else is in here? Here's actual glassware. This looks like the thing you sit in the center of your table and have all your fruits and stuff in, but I don't want to know what that fruit is right there. You want to eat it? Go ahead. No. You sure? Yeah. You can have it. I don't mind. So let's see if we see anything else that looks valuable. What's in the black bags? Why is it black bags? Okay, it's a white bag in a black bag in a box. Oh, look at this. Fine jewelers. Let's see what's in there. Oh, a box. So like a jewelry box probably. But, oh, it's got a piece of gap. Come here, you. It's got an actual necklace in it. Let's set this over here. Let me pull this out really quick, see if we can get a read on this. Gosh, it's little though. It's probably real gold, just based on how thin it is. A lot of these gold necklaces this thin are, are real. Let's see if we can get a reading on it though. It says Italy on it, but I can't read what it says. It's too tiny. And look at the little pendant. It's got an angel on it. Now that's nice. Has the angel got any readable markings? 10K on the angel. So I'm gonna assume the necklace is probably 10K with this. So guess what? We got gold in the glass box. Who would have expected that? <laughs> Let's pull out some more and see. We have this one tea light holder. I guess like a little angel that just holds a candle. What else is in here? More jewelry, please. No, this is a, like a collectible Christmas ball, it looks like. What does it look like to you? It's like a Christmas egg that opens. Let's see, here, it's got instructions with it really quick. Let's see if it tells us what to do or what it is. Instructional manual, it's a precision set, not a toy. So yeah, it's basically, a, it has a music box in it. So oh. it's basically a Christmas egg that plays music. So not just an egg, but a musical egg. <laughs> Let's see, over here we got like a bird box, look. A little bird with some pink and purple flowers. How cute! <laughs> All right, let's see. Now I'm interested though. When we find gold, I'm happy. So this is like a clock right here. It's like plastic though. It's an eagle. So can you see it from over here? I'm not gonna be able to get it out. It's stuck. It's an Kinda. eagle. It says TriStar on it, but like I said, it's not metal. This is plastic, so probably not too expensive. And then let's see what's in here because I'm seeing more boxes. A picnic basket? No, just a regular basket. And then down here, I'm seeing more boxes though. What's in this box? Ugh. What does that say? Can you read it? Uh, 1997 kitchen glass. Kitchen glass, 1997. Ooh. 
It looks like that too. It's dirty. So some old kitchen glass in there. There's one more white box in the bottom corner here. So let's see what's in this one. It says granite marble. This guy is a candle. It probably has absolutely no scent left. It's probably been in here for 20 years. If this stuff has been in here as long as that stuff's been in there in 1997, over 20 years. But it, you know what? I can't complain because we got gold. Before I pull up the next box, make sure you take two seconds and leave this video a like because you really help us out way more than you think you do. And if you can, take another two seconds and just hit the share button for us. That really, really helps us out a lot. So take those two seconds for us. Pretty please. I'm absorbing like three pounds of dust per minute being in here. So, you know, it's a trade-off, right? I swallowed dust. You guys like the video and share it for us, please. <laughs> so this is obviously a shoe box. Well, let's see if we can recognize any brands right off the bat, anything good so this is boss this is gosh look at the bottom it's not it doesn't really matter does it no these are a lot of dress shoes you never have luck with dress shoes like tennis shoes like jordans nikes easiest day to sell all day with dress shoes literally i'll put them out at our yard sale try to get a dollar a pair for them after that the rest just get donated whatever people don't want now i must grab the box belonging to the most delicious fast food industry in the business and the best customer service it's the only place you go to and you already know when you go there you're not going to need a tylenol because their service just boom and their chicken sandwich best in the world <laughs> let's see what's in there a bunch of purses it looks like which I'm excited because last time in the first part, we found one purse that was like $320 or $330 or something pre-owned. So definitely looking at these purses. So this one is a, doesn't say, but look at the inside. Yeesh. It's probably not no good. Or not worth a lot. Still sell at the yard sale and donate it if it doesn't sell. We got a lighter. Does it work? Of course not. It's been in there for a century. Let's open the other parts of this purse though. Like right over here. Let's see if there's anything in there. Uh, what the freak am I looking at? I don't know there. I don't want to know. It's too close up for me. I think that's somebody's face actually. But way too close up. Alright, nothing in that one. Little one. You can tell he's empty. This one is more like a laptop bag. Uh, cash loan card. Paperwork. Yeah. Next one. Empty. Except for a cigarette. Oh, this one's heavy. What's that brand? Chanel? That's what I want to say, but look at that. That's probably definitely a fake. I don't think a real one would be peeling that badly. Even if it has been in here for a while. Uh, property tax thing written on there. And just more junk. These purses, nothing in them. They're all beat to death. This one's empty. This one has got some weight to it. But it might just be the purse itself and a bunch of papers in it gosh can't somebody just leave some money in there like what one in these envelopes right full of cash <laughs> full of paperwork boo little avon makeup thing Let's make sure that's what it is Ooh, it's used nails mm, just what we wanted just what we wanted <laughs> last one is another empty purse with a card with somebody's name in it and then we have this uh, tribute, like one of those spam things they send you in the mail. So those purses will probably might end up in the trash if the donation places don't want them. I don't know. So I moved out a bunch more clothes. This one, I can't even tell what it says. It looks like it says library brown something. I can tell you by the weight, it's not books. Does it say legs? Yeah. So is it probably just, you think, just table legs or something? I mean, that's or, what the name would suggest here. Yeah. Let's just open it up and see if that's the case. Oh, well, it's a basket. And below it is, look at that. I don't really know what it goes to. Maybe bookshelves, I'm assuming, library. There's something in here, too. Oh, boy, a bunch of burnt cassettes. That's not what we want. And this might be what we want. We don't know yet until we see the finished piece. It might be a really nice big shelf or something like that, so that could be good. This box has toys only on it. Maybe we can find some more Disney stuff. Maybe we can find the rest of our goofy phone in here. Let's see. All it says is toys. Doesn't say clothes this time, so that better mean it's a full box of toys. And it looks like it is for the most part. 
So we got a book bag with Tweety Bird on it. Speaking of Disney, or he's not Disney, that's Looney Tunes. Don't listen to me. Nothing in there but doll clothes. And not the old ones, like the newer type ones. Headphones and a bunch of hair curlers. I'm so tired of these yellow jackets. They just stay in your face. Like imagine you have the ability to fly anywhere you want in the world, but you just insist on staying near creatures like a million times your weight that can kill you with a swat. I, I hate them. If I could exterminate all wasps, yellow jackets, I wouldn't hurt. Winnie the Pooh. Um, this is like a bunch of little kid stuff that's pretty beat up. Got a little Spider-Man lunchbox. Think there's anything in it? No. Other than that, oh no way. The OG right here. <sighs> Who drew some really square stuff that was supposed to be circle <laughs> with this? Oh my gosh, if you didn't have this as a child, your childhood was not complete. Everyone had one of these. Nobody really liked it that much, but now when you see it as an adult, you're like, that thing has a special place in my heart. At least it does for me. So as I was putting away this toy box, I got a little sidetracked by the Edge Gets and wrote my name. Aren't you guys proud of me? It's beautiful. Thank you. Let's bring out the little white box here and see what's in this one. A bag. Ooh, something that's not closed. A power base speaker with an aux cord. All right. We got a little bag with nothing. And oh boy, an old Verizon flip phone. You think it'll cut on? No, I How do you think it. you cut this one on? Which? Power or off? No, the off one. I had one that did each. No, it's not cutting on. Who would have known? 11 year old phone in a storage unit doesn't have battery. And the rest of these are more dress shoes that are just beat. Like, I don't even think they're going to be donatable, but I'll try, but I think they're going to probably end up in the dump. Little box here says Hall Closet. Let's see what they kept in their Hall Closet. I was about to say, all ours has is a bunch of jackets you don't actually wear, which you don't want to throw away. Oh. Hey. hey! Hey! Is that a safe? <laughs> I guess it's got a lock on it. If it's got a lock, it's a safe, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, there's only one thing to do, right? Yep. Smash it. Mm. It's open. So secure. So secure. Um, well, pictures, pictures, what's in the envelope, anything, papers, and a bunch of pictures. A savings. Did you actually put this money in here to save? No. More pictures, more papers. More nothing and more pictures. Ah! Who would have thought today when we come to our unit we literally have to defend ourselves? Seriously, if he takes any step closer to smack the crap out of him with that shoe, then it's on. I will. Once he lands, I got this big size 16 slide that they're done. They've already been around my ear, around my leg, and all like, around. What do you stuff, want? So. What do you want from me, Mr. B? You probably can't even see it on camera. But now he's got a <laughs> here with him, too. Oops, I probably shouldn't have said that on YouTube. <laughs> He's got somebody here with them now. And yeah, they won't leave our stuff alone. Tell them to go away. Go away! <laughs> Gosh, I hate bees. What is there? There's gotta be some smell out there that bees hate that will get rid of these things. Yeah, I don't know. They seem, they seem to be really into whatever smell are in these boxes. So what are like yellow jackets or bees? I don't know exactly what these things are. What are they attracted to? I know what they need to be. What? Dead. Yes, they do. This is the first box I found that actually has no label on it at all. There's nothing written on it. Has this not even been opened? No, it's taped over here. That's, uh, I had to say that out loud that it had no label on it. On second thoughts, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it shut. You know, I forgot I set that box right there and I just went in there and grabbed another one instinctually, so now I have two boxes to go through. Let's cut this guy open first. I'm not seeing a label on this one. Okay. Let's see what it is. What do you think? Mm. Don't say books or paperwork. What do you see? It's gonna be random. Did you just point at something? Oh, this is sticking out. Oh, I thought I missed the label again. Uh, old computer stuff. A An keyboard. old keyboard. Jeez, look at it. Hmm. Ugh. All these old This is why discs. electronics don't last for some reason. Yes. Uh. Uh. This is called crap. Lots of crap. Let's just switch it off the way right now. Do you. That. Let's see. If that's what's in here. What does that look like? A DU? Yeah, what's a DU? 
Um, I'm trying to think of what it could stand for, but I'm not that I have no quick. idea either. <laughs> Looks like toys. Like... That... Pretty colors. What is he? Supposed to be like an astronaut. Alright, rainbow astronaut. A pumpkin. It's all stuffed animals, isn't it? Koala and elephants. elephants. Never mind. Uh, Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, this whole thing is just stuffed animals. We got this guy. That Tweety Bird. Come here. Tweety! Oh, his poor arm. Oh, he's injured. Now we're just missing Sylvester. We got a kangaroo, and I'm not going to pull out all these stuffed animals. But there's a lot more of them in there. Like this guy. Why is he so stiff? Jeez, this is a stiff stuffed animal. <laughs> but he has no tag on him. But yeah, that box is all stuffed animals. I think I found something for our bee problem. Right here. I think this will do him justice. If I just get one good whack on that guy i think you send him like over the building over to the next lane over there we're gonna keep this out just for the bee this is kind of scary can i point something out why does this box say infant vaporizer on it these people like vaporizing infants i don't know that, that that doesn't sit right with me we finally made a den look i can actually walk into the unit a little bit and we're probably like halfway to the back on this side still a lot more to go and if you want to see the rest of it make sure you subscribe make sure you come back next time guys peace out